I thought we might take a look at some pollen grains. You know, we talked earlier about the pollen grains that come out of the nutritional supplements. There are a number of little tools we need in order to go through this process, and we'll introduce some of those tools now. One of the tools that turns out to be very useful are these little disposable pipettes. They have a little bulb at the end, a number of places you can get them on the uh, web on various websites, and we'll show you a few of those. Another tool we need is uh, just a simple pair of forceps. Now, these forceps are a little different than what you would normally get. One of the things you want to look for is that they're smooth on the inside rather than having a uh, rough structure. The reason for that is if they're smooth on the inside you can clean them. Clean them very effectively. And we want to make sure that we're not cross-contaminating our samples as we work with them. A little vial is useful. What this vial will allow us to do is to break up the little grain we have of pollen. We'll start out with one of the French pollen grains. Of course there are a variety of colors here, so we'll just pick one of the colors. Yeah, let's pick a nice yellow colored one. Put that into the vial. The alcohol I'm using, of course, is isopropyl alcohol. Add enough isopropyl to uh, fill about half the vial about halfway. We can simply shake the vial and distribute pollen through the alcohol. Now we'll have to shake it for a bit in order to see the grain break down and distribute individual pollen grains through the alcohol. You can now take a microscope slide, collect a few drops, spread it out on the slide, let the alcohol evaporate, and after the alcohol has evaporated, we can make our mount. Now there are a variety of different shapes and sizes that we might see as we look under the microscope, and in a moment we'll actually look at this preparation and see what kinds of pollens we're finding in this little yellow grain. The shapes and sizes of the pollen grains are all useful in identifying the type of pollen, what plant that particular pollen grain came from. We'll go into that a little bit as we actually look at this slide and then look at some other examples of pollen grains we've extracted from these nutritional supplements.